started using fire code 30 uh, two or three years ago now we had some doubts about it as far as how it would hang how it would you know whether we could score and snap it properly how it would finish we are usually very reluctant to try new products it's um we've been burned in the past where you know someone will come out and reinvent the wheel and it a lot of times will have a flat spot on it when you hear lightweight uh, it's kind of hard to believe because you're still getting the same spec or close to. The first time I picked up a sheet, I was like, there's no way this is 5.8. They've been making this product for years one way, and how do they conform or make it lighter? And is it really, you know, going to be doable? In our partnership with USG, they bring us these new ideas, these new products, and we help them evaluate it, I feel like, and then we take it out to our customers and really find out if what we think in our little meeting room if everything we talked about is really true out in the field. And this was an example of something that played out just that way. Our crews were sold right out of the gate. They started lifting those lighter sheets and they were pretty happy about it. We've been working with USG for a long time and they've always backed their product. Anytime we've had an issue, they've always stepped up to the plate, came out, looked at it, and took care of us. It has the backing of, you know, USG and our long-term relationship with USG that we have, you know, that we're very satisfied with it and um, totally confident in it. Quite honestly, I, there's no company that has the same service level that USG has. we have had the architects question why we would like to use a product and we basically tell them it's down to the production. When we're looking at sound partitions and the contractor wants to use uh, fire code 30 on the partition, we do ask the questions are there specific sound requirements for the partition. We do have STC ratings that we have to hit and the architects uh, do look into that and we haven't had any questions quite honestly. Any questions the architect or owners would have, we had the answers there, or we knew we could contact USG to get the correct information we needed. So we had no concern whatsoever of submitting the product. It's not a real issue anymore because it's just, it's been out on the market long enough to where they were able to educate themselves about it, and they can also get on the web and look themselves and uh, look through the ASTM number. It's the logical choice. When you have a product that gives you better production, keeps your injuries down to a minimum, and puts more money in your pocket, that's what we're in business for. Mm -hmm.